Okay, what I'm going to do is convert some batteries here. We have the Eshin QX65 batteries, and you can see I've already taken the plastic top off them here. But I found a big major problem, and this is, I've took most of them apart, and the biggest problem was, you can see the silicone right there at the front, but what they did at the back was they used CA glue, to glue the rest of the plastic caps on. That was a nightmare to try and get off and I had to use a pair of wire cutters to snip the plastic off, which wasn't very good to work with at all because you don't want to puncture the batteries just in case they go up in flame. And the end result would be something like this. And what I am going to use after that, oh, I am going to use, yes, I'm bringing it out for a change. I'm not going to say it because you can see what it says. That's what I'm going to use now that I've soldered everything up. I'm going to put some sugar on here and wrap a bit of tape around there. And that's me done. That's me got the pH 2.0 plugs on them so I can run it with the UR65. Not only that, where are you? I also have the sockets too. So I can put, I'm going to snip and clip the QX65 and put the PH 2.0 sockets on there. So I can use the, the batteries in both quadcopters and I have the best of both worlds. My little tip to you is use flux. If you don't use flux, you might not get it to work. So what we're going to do just now, let me just take everything out of the way as soon as that's done, that's done. And this is done, what one would be the easiest. Once you've got that black plastic cover off, now all batteries are different. If you look closely, you can see that silicone, it's all over the place and it's really hard to get off. What I usually do is just pull, if you can see, you can pull it up just a little bit like that. And if you just kind of you don't really want to use something metal, but I'm used to doing what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, but I, if I was you, use something plastic, okay? Or even something wooden, like a little toothpick, and try and just pick all that off. Get All I would say is get as much as you can off. Now, you'll see what happens when I hit this with the solder iron. Now, this solder iron cost me pennies. It was like, let me get better solder. It cost me like £12 or something. And guess what? It's done everything I've needed it to do for, for as long as I've known. Yes. One off. If you can see it, I'll get the negative wire off. I know you can't see very well. I am using my mobile phone just now. And that should just pop off real easy like so. There you go. There's the little connector off. And you can see everything here. Now you can pick the rest of this off. But I wouldn't really bother very much because as soon as you hit it, like I said, as soon as you hit it with the solder and iron, it's going to take most of that silicon off. Get a little bit of flux, like I said to you, just to make sure. I know there's solder already on there. I'm not going to take it off. I'm just going to leave it there because it's fine. And... Yes, I know there's, this will just all melt in. And melt away. I wouldn't worry too much about it at all. Uh, you can find these plugs on eBay or you can buy them from Banggood, wherever you want. I'll put links in the description below. I wonder if we're getting all this in camera. Probably out of focus and my hands in the way. There's really not much room here to work with.
I should have moved the camera. I must apologize. I'll bring it in focus a little bit. I'm going to put some solder on the battery itself. One dob. Two black to the this side. This will go on real easy and quick. Put that down so I can get this right. Sometimes you need to manipulate the wire to get it to where you want it to go to. And there you have it. Simple as that, Go that up, tape it up, and that's your job done. And you've got a lot better connectors. Well, and also you've changed the connectors so you can use them with your UR65. But now we're going to go on to the QX65 itself. It's simple. Just snip it and put the plug on. Just solder the plug on like so. And that's your job done. And there you have it. There's that lovely girl over the battery right there. And all I need to do is just wait until that settles down a little bit. And put, wrap a bit of tape around it. And that's me all done. And also, there you go. That's what I've done to the QX65. I did. I just snipped the old socket off there. Put the new one on. Put some heat shrink there. And that's it all done. Job done. How long did that take? Mm, maybe about 20 minutes to do a couple of batteries and that quadcopter. And my friend, sugar. Sugar is the way to go. <laughs> right, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm nearly to a thousand subscribers, my friend. Keep up. Keep up, keep going. I'm nearly there. I can't wait until I'm there. I don't know. I think I'll do a giveaway when I get to a thousand subscribers. That's going to mean a, a lot to me. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I've got sugar hands by uh, thumbs. And happy flying. <laughs>